Shonya, yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Shabalot. I'm Janice, and tonight is Friday Night Live with our guest star um, from Up, Nick, Glitz, and Up Glenn. Chic. Chic. Up, Chic. Oh, I keep saying Chic. That's better, because I keep wanting to curse by accident. <laughs> So up that. cheek. It's a family show. <laughs> I know. So up cheek. 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 Lips and glam. Up Lips cheek. And glam. Denise O'Hare is here yes. to join us. Hi, Denise. Hi, Janice. <laughs> How are you? How are you? I'm doing I'm, great. Thank you so much for being here. So tell us a little bit about your uh, up cheek, glitz and glam company. Um, well, I started about three years ago and I started slowly. I just got into the addiction of painting furniture and um, it just lured me in and I just couldn't get out of it. <laughs> yeah, so, it is an addiction, isn't it? Yes, it is. But it's a I fun addiction. It. I love it. I'm so happy. I think it's a great, great um, addiction. If you're going to have an addiction, this one's fine. I think I should. I have to be close because I got to read. Maggie Fletcher, evening, ladies. She said, evening, ladies. How are you, Maggie? Hi, so, Maggie. Um, tell us a little bit about your piece, uh, Denise, that we're painting okay. tonight. This is kind of like a tall boy, and it. she has, but it's a sheet because. <laughs> okay, she's a sheet. Poor sheet. My he has some cute, sexy little legs down oh, here. Oh, yeah. So she's gonna look really pretty when she's painted. She has some scratches, some wear and tear, but she's in excellent shape. Um, and we're gonna put Ooh. a beach underwater ocean scene and we will probably have some above the ocean too. But it's gonna be yeah, a story. Where yes. did you get the oh boy? You didn't did find that on the side of the road. Where did I get what? Where do I live? You're, you're a tall boy. Well, they call them tall boys, but because they're a tall dresser, that's just what I can okay. call it. But I love the ornateness up top, and I'm going to play with that with my piece. So, Gorgeous. And I think you're going to play with the inside of yours, too. We're going to get you to do yeah, that. So, I have a, whoops, a chest. <laughs> my boys' toy chest. Um, when they were young, they are now in their 20s. So it, it's been around in my house for a long time. Randy just now fixed it. That's why it's a little late. One of the pieces of wood fell off. But this chest opens like this. So yes. it reminds me of a chest, treasure chest, right, Denise? Yes. So Denise, yes. we're going to go ahead. We're going to make it like a, a sunken boat also. So oh. what I said for you to play with the top of yours, like I'm going to play with mine with the octopus so i'm gonna have some hands going across the top and around there so oh, yeah, yeah. I can see that. and it's gonna be cool now you see it now that i told you <laughs> but yeah, yeah i'm gonna have a good around the legs too so i octopuses yeah. are so much fun they're like whimsical and so. yeah and you're gonna Maybe do one too i think or and we're gonna do I some mermaids i'm gonna i want everything everything yes I'm yes gonna... we want it all it's gonna be everything. very beachy so we can hand paint some mermaids I'm gonna do mine on the side and on the other side I'm gonna do some seahorses. <coughs> I have mine on wheels so I can turn it. But we're gonna focus on the front today and then you might wanna do your lid and get some background paint okay. on it. But, um, okay. but yeah, let's start at the bottom when we're ready. Do you have any more questions? Okay, um, now, you, live um, in, you live in Massachusetts? I am in Rhode Island. Rhode Island, okay. I'm in Rhode Island. Uh, Johnston, Rhode Island. It's near, uh, it's about 10 minutes out of Providence. Okay. And it's actually near the ocean. Oh, nice. Oh, great. Yeah. Are, Are, you on keeping your piece? Are you planning on keeping your Please? piece? Are you planning on keeping your piece or selling? You don't I'm know. Not sure. You're not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay. We'll see. I don't know. I never know. Do you know, well, do you always sell your pieces? Well, if someone wants them, but otherwise I, I, I just stare at them until I use them. I, I put them all around my house until they go. Yeah. Oh, so nice. I borrow them. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm going to lower my camera so you yeah, guys well, can too, see. We're going to be down bottom first. Um, down bottom first. Let me go close. All right, guys. Um, let me know if you're on. I do have my laptop here. 
so I can see comments. And I usually, I usually use like the same brush because we're blending from one color to the next. But okay. it's up to you, whatever you want to do, however you want to handle it. Um, I'm just going to start off with, this is actually a Dixie Belle Aubergine because it's a deep purple. And then I have, okay. I have mostly DIY paints, Debbie's Design Diary paints. And yeah. you're, you're, you're a, um, an affiliate of that, right? Of I'm DIY? I'm trying to think of this stupid camera. Yes, you I am a, I'm a retailer for DIY paint. Okay. So if anybody from, needs paint, they can order it from you. This is just a bulk. Does that work? Okay, yeah. yes. That, that works for me. <laughs> it works for you. Um, because <laughs> I'm starting on the bottom with the deeper, darker colors, like the deep bottom of the ocean. Okay. okay. And we're going to work our way up. up. I'm going to go, go up my legs. I'm going to suggest you take your colors and start at the bottom. Okay. okay. Start at the bottom. And work in the corners like that. All right, I'm starting with Bohemian Blue. Okay. Um, Denise said that the the bottom of the ocean is darker. Off my chair. Yeah. So it's just this is the background, and the bottom of the ocean is a little darker. So I'm just moving you guys down. So. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to sit. All right. I'm going to bring my chair over. Okay, here we go. I'm still not in the shot. I can't figure this out. Guys, my new tripod is, I had to order a bunch of more stuff to go with my tripod. So the thing is, it ended up being a lot more money and a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. I wanted a new tripod, and when I got it home, when it came in the mail, yeah, it um, it didn't have the head. It all it was only the legs, oh, only the legs. Yeah. So I had to order the um the the ball that goes on top and the the clamp for the phone. You're so oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I was. I haven't excited. had that happen. I, I thought I was going to get it home and I'd be able to use it that night on my live. But Randy ended up spending a lot of time um, figuring out what I what, what pieces I needed. So I ordered them today and they should be here. They should be here. You guys, I got to open up a new Bohemian Blue. Okay. I my Bohemian Blue. I, I just... I will probably add some of that um, in a bit, but I, I would just get my deeper colors down here and we can go over top of them and blend them with the next colors. Hey, Heather Watson. Heather Watson's here, Janice. Hi, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to paint over the handles because you oh. want it to all blend into the piece. And then okay. I like when you get a bunch of colors on it, and then you can add some gold or, you know, the pennies from heaven and, yeah. and, yep. and the copper and the golden ticket. So I like yeah. to get get them. So, Heather, okay. we're just starting off with, I'm using D DIY Cobalt Blue and um, Aubergine from Dixie Belle. And I'm using the same, same brush, but... I think I'm going to use... Um, hey sailor at the bottom. Okay, that'll be nice too. Instead of opening up the boho blue. I'm gonna use hey sailor DIY paint. And... All right, here we go. Woo! Look at that color. <laughs> okay. Now I had to sand this piece. Uh, today, okay. Because normally you don't have to sand, but this thing has been is so old, and it's been sitting in in like my garage and not been used for a very long time. So I thought I'll give it a sand to give it a nice new finish, and uh, try to make this thing look new again. It'll look gorgeous when it's done, and it's going to be a beautiful scene. And 
the thing that's really cool is two different pieces, two different artists are going to have a little bit of a different take. Yes. Well, I've never done a coastal chip, coastal chic, beachy scene. Chic, up chic. It's not shabby up, chic, it's up what's chic. What's wrong with me? I can't. <laughs> shabby it's chic. Up chic in it. Like upside down Blue Iris from DIY and Aubergine from Dixie Belle. Yes. That's the purple Deli that the I'm And I'm Linda just getting to here. This is just the first paint, and we'll be, you know, layering and probably using a sponge at some point. Yeah. Now, tell us about the sponge. What is that? Okay. I is have, it, it's just, let me pull, pull it out of the drawer one second. Oh, okay. Thank you. Here. Okay, I'm gonna. So, if anybody's painting along or has a piece or even a a canvas that they might be painting, they can follow the colors. Just like a deep blue and a deep purple is what we put on so far. I have a sea sponge. Oh, that's okay. And I'm not sure where I got it. I I think I might have been might have been Walmart. Um, okay. And then they're only like two or three bucks. But yeah. you see, we'll get to that point after we get some layers on. And what I do is I either paint them on. So there's like three or four colors on here. And you just go like that. So it really Ooh. blends it really cool. My it's just a safe sponge. Mother. But if you yeah. have a regular sponge, that'll work too. You could take a little piece off and just, you know. Sponge. Oh, okay. That, yeah. That'll be next time. I see people do that on walls. Like we will be putting on mermaids. I have the old mermaid and the new mermaid. And the um, these are molds yeah. from the IOD. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know. Let me see what the old one looks like. I've never seen the old one. Okay, this is the old one where it's just that there's two mermaids. They can go in either direction. You can tell I've used them oh. a lot. And oh, okay. um, yeah, so there's, and they're really cool. The piece that I did with these just left this week so i'm anxious to have some more okay. mermaids hanging around and you know the new one and it has a little bit of this coral stuff so we could put that down oh i love that when i want one of those you didn't get this one no what that's an old one right no this was a newer one i just got this one and she's cool because she's like that i, I like to put one. her in corners you know because the way she looks like she's sitting yeah. But um, these ones look like they're swimming, and so we can. That, and the other thing, one. the other piece I did was I wrapped them around the legs, which they're they're really cool to go around. Which I'm probably gonna put around these legs too, and take advantage okay. of it. You know. All right. Let me answer a couple of questions. Yes. Um, about Roth, I love boho blue. Is Denise using boho blue? I'm going to put some on. <laughs> <laughs> Not right now, but she's going to. I have it right here. <laughs> I was yeah. just trying, I was just trying to get a couple colors on and yeah. then you asked me to do that. Yeah, so this I have Bohemian blue. I'm gonna put some down here too. Okay. Um Brielle, Diane, Brielle has a question. Hi Diane. It where is Mia? Smiley face. Oh, Mia <laughs> is here. Um I might have left her in the house because she's like Who's she's Mia? my dog. But I'll let her, she'll probably get out here and make an appearance in a little bit, so. Oh, but I hope so. Yeah, she's my girl. And yeah, how about, is that the, oh, the IOD or redesigned by Prima? That mermaid that you showed us, where she's a little squiggly, is that one redesigned by I, Prima? I think I'm it's not, IOD. Maybe the... The old one, maybe it was redesigned. I thought it was IOD, yeah. but I'm not sure. I love it. Yeah, I'm putting on some, um, what did they just ask for? Bohemian blue. Boho blue. Boho blue. Hey, so I'm putting, I'm, I'm putting I don't know if you noticed, but I moved my uh, studio from out of the basement. I've been in the basement for a year. Okay. Um, this is my second year in this furniture painting world that I love. And last night I got tired of the basement and my connection was not great. And I don't think the quality of the video was very great either. So I spent today cleaning out. This is a bedroom in my house that was, uh, was my mother-in-law's office. 
Okay. And um, yeah, so she used to sell Avon and uh, she, sold, she was so creative. So this was definitely an office of a creative. So um, that makes sense, right? So I came in here and, and, and cleaned out as much as I could, but there's so much that she has left here that I can, that I can use. So I thank her. She's in heaven. Aww. I thank her very much for um, leaving this space for me. And, and I know she will be happy that, that we're all in here. <laughs> so she's channeling us. <laughs> I really hope that the connection is better um, and that this will be a, a better place for our lives. I just wanted to tell you about that. That was a busy day today. Wonderful. Well, I'm just doing a little bit of boho blue. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of sandy blonde in this area as if that's like the bottom. A little bit of the bottom. You went up a little. You went up a little. Like that. Yeah, I'm going to do that? a little bit on the sides. Okay, let me do that. Okay. Okay. I may cover that later, but right now I just, yeah. I was trying okay. to do like a little bit of a, a vignette, a silhouette down here, like a circle, you know? Yeah, I like that. Just yep. because I want the middle to be highlighted. We're going to be a little okay. bit lighter in the middle. Okay. What, what color do you like to use for your highlight? Um, for when, um, when you have the blue? After we... After I get some of this ocean floor on a little bit here to try to blend this in. All right. Yay, said Diane Brielle. And Lisa Ross. The old one is IOD. I haven't <laughs> seen that new one yet. Huh. Okay. Well, okay. So I am an IOD stockist as well as a DIY retailer, and I have the mermaid one. You know, the double mermaid. I don't have the squiggly mermaid one. Okay. Um, so that's the one I think is on. So will we be putting molds on, you think? Um, yes, I plan on it. Yeah, I okay, plan good. on it. Okay. Yes. All right. So this is going to take us a few days, you guys. Um, as you can tell, I'm really not focusing very well. Diane is, look at her. She's all right. What color? She, I'm still on the first color. <laughs> Go ahead. Take your time. I'm, I'm just putting a little bit of this and I have to kind of see when it's on so I can see. I want my picture in the middle here where I want to have a little like shipwreck boat and I'm going to have my, I'm going to have an octopus here and I'll have mermaids. Like, so I'm not sure how far to go down, but I'm just getting a little bit of that in there because I want to add along the sides here some of Debbie Beard's water lily. Can I ask a question? Yes, what yes. color are you using now? What's that light blue color? Well, that was actually sandy blonde and it mixed with some of the boho blue. Right in here. Oh, so sandy blonde was the, the one. Okay. So I'm going to do sandy blonde now. Um, yeah, just somewhere down to have like your, a little bit of the bottom of the ocean and a little bit lighter. And then when you put your molds on, they'll go, I don't know, they'll be down here along the bottom of the ocean. I'm just trying to get the first coat on so I can kind of see where I want to place things. Okay. okay. Me too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Brielle. It's Diane is your first name, right? And Brielle is your last name. Have you, I think this one is, is for you, Denise. Have you found the other mermaid? It, no. Hope so. I'm sorry. No. Okay. Sorry. Have you thought about what kind of knobs you're going to put on this piece, Denise? The knobs are on here. So you're going to use the, keep those knobs. I'm just covering them up, but yeah, they're on here. And I'll, I'll just be like doing, them. like right now I'm just doing some feathering of this um, lighter color, the water lily, just to give them a little bit of different color. <laughs> Well, it's just, right now it's a blending kind of a mess. We're just getting some, some colors on. And then I'm going to get I'm that. Ready. That was the water lily. And I'm putting a little bit of lilac just to um, start lightening up a little bit in here. Okay. On the way um, towards the center. Lisa Roth said, I just found the other mermaid. It is definitely 
design with Prima. So the squiggly okay. mermaid, I might want to get that one. I don't, I might want to just go get that one off of somebody who sells redesign with Prima. Does anybody know who sells redesign with Prima? Charmaine Craig. Hi, hi Charmaine. Okay, can't wait to see the mold. Maybe some shells, mermaids, yes. or crabs. Yes. Yes. That's what um, Diane. I ordered those, um, the shells. I couldn't get it on your website, so I, I went to somebody else's and I, I did order them. The new shells from, what is it, IOD? I like the, the Fandy Blonde blending in with the. Um, yeah, just adding a little bit of sand here and there. I yeah. might come down more, but I'm just not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to put molds down here because I'm going to have my guy take place up there. Um, this is Brom Queen that I'm using now. And I'm going okay. to try to fill in here with a little bit of lighter blue. And we're going to have a lot of shades with the sponge going over where we want it to I be. Sure. So we're going to have a lot of that thing is going on so beautifully, so smooth on that. Your wood is so shiny. Mine is really rustic, and it, mine's going on nice, too, but yours looks so smooth and really okay. pretty. Um, it's all going to look good. It's all going to look good. I'm going to use my wrist, wrist, wrist bottle to blend in some of this um, sandy blonde with the Hay Sailor. So... So this is, um, I guess, representing the sand at the bottom of the ocean. Yes. And it's gorgeous. I never blended these two colors before, and they're really beautiful. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. Already, it's looking so peachy. Yes. Denise, oh, my God. You're a great teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yours looks good. Oh, I'm going to just stop right here. I know. I love like the ocean. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. All right, guys. All right. You all learned something. If you didn't already know, you probably already knew. I I, I didn't know, but I'm trying to blue no hey this, this lighter one here is prom queen by DIY. Oh, oh so you're going up, 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 and I'm still on the second cover. That's I'm okay. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I'm, I have a little bit bigger piece too, so I'm not sure where I'm cutting it off. Maybe here, and then it's oh, going to be water, or if I'm going to start it here. So I'm just going to do up here, and I'll do the legs. Um, okay. So if you, for those who ha didn't hear, <coughs> Brielle, Diane Brielle, I love both of those names. Brielle would be a beautiful name too. I love that. Um, Janice. Is this your blue footed booby design? <laughs> I saw oh my goodness. She knows about the blue footed booby. Yeah, that was fun. <coughs> He's cute. He's the cutest little. I keep calling him a penguin, but Randy says he's not a penguin, but he looks like a penguin with blue feet. Luann, hi, ladies. Glad I'm hi, catching Luanne. you. In. Thank you so much. Did you just have a birthday, Luann? Yes, she did. I think I saw that. Happy, when was it? Like yesterday? I think it was. Happy I birthday. I just wished a happy birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. I hope you had a wonderful day, Luann. I'm so excited, you guys. This is beautiful. These colors blended together is definitely my new favorite thing. And I'm gonna, and it doesn't matter if, what, if you have a different blue, just so you have different blues. Yeah. And then when they start blending, I'm right now, this one I picked up with sea glass. Oh. And the next one I yeah. have is Olds 57. So it doesn't yeah. matter. I'm just getting some blues. This is our first base coat. You know, you know, it's like the Empire State Building compared to mine. <laughs> it's like, it, so I'm only going to have a couple colors. <laughs> But you'll be putting some colors on top of them. That looks good, though. You're doing good. Yeah. I'm gonna go all the way, uh, all the way around. So I, I'm gonna do all the way around. But this is a lot of fun. I'm really excited. So happy that you're here. Good. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> this is gonna take um, a few visits. 
to complete yes. because yes. Um, because Denise her her work is very intricate and there's going to be a lot of the layers so all we're doing tonight is the base coat pretty much because it kind of has to dry too to set on the piece yours is looking good Janice I'm loving it Thank you. so we'll have to figure out when is a good time for us to um meet up again okay yeah we'll talk about that we'll let everybody know we'll advertise put our little flyers out like i said this is just the first coat so i'm not really every once in a while i dab into one of the other colors just to throw a little color in so Lisa Roth said, I checked on Amazon and you can buy it there. It's called Sea Maven, but you oh, will okay. have to search using Redesign with Prima Sea Maven. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you and for Luann, checking. Yeah. Luann said, these are looking gorgeous. I can't wait. You know what I love about the fact that I might be able to get that mold on Amazon is I probably can get that mold like the next day. And then so I have it for this project, which would be awesome. All right. I got to go on the other side. Okay. Um, you see, each one of my handles are going to blend in so you're not seeing this brassy brassiness. And then they're going to take on their own color. And at the end, we'll add some shimmer with some gold and silver metallics. Okay. I have, um, well, the gold, uh, would a uh, golden ticket be okay? Or should I get a gold, uh, no, no, like a gold golden ticket? ticket? That's what I use, golden ticket. Okay, good. Okay. And yeah, the golden ticket will have it drippy down. Um, I was actually thinking if you want to do the pirate ship, we could even do some um, patina. Yeah, like the ver the vertigree. vertigree. Yeah. yeah. I just did some of that on my seashells. And I probably plan to use some of that vertigree wax on this when we're done. I did clean okay. this big boy today. Um, yeah. Mine didn't really need sanded, as you said. It's it's pretty much. Um, yeah, very smooth. My my yeah. clay my paint is really dry, and I think it's because it was in that. <coughs> I I never put this one in one of my FIFO bottles, and okay. and so I never put the covers on very well, and it was at the kind of at the bottom. Okay. So I'm just taking it as it is with all the clay, all that clay goodness. Uh huh. Um. Squirting, squirting the piece with my continuous famous bottle. So it's it it might be a little texture. Okay. Which is fun. Because there's lots of texture in the ocean, right? Yes. Yes. The the ocean water is all different colors. And that's that's why I just try to take them and let them do their blends and and like I said, this is the first coat. When you get the second coat, it's it's going to look even better. Mm. And, um, there's really no messing it up for the ocean part, you know? <laughs> My kid's going to be like, Mom, why didn't you do this when we were using it? We would have liked to have them. Now I feel bad. <laughs> That's okay. That Might have grandchildren it. someday, you know? <laughs> yes. I hey, can't I, wait. My, I have to say hello to my grandson Leo. He's yes. supposed to be watching us. Hi, Leo. It's Grandma Nini. Will he, so <laughs> will he type? Will he say hi? His mom is Sammy Flowerball. So I don't I, know if she's on. Sammy Flowerball? Yeah. Well, she that's that's oh. what she is on um Instagram. Oh, cool. Yeah, I don't see her. Say hi. Well, they may catch the re re. Rewind, but I did talk to them earlier. Hi, Chris. How are you today? I'm in my new space, Chris. I'm also going to add some old 57. Okay. Mm 
going to be um, a little bit simpler with the colors, um, I think. But right now that is happening. And that's okay because you can add more with the sponge later. Okay. okay. I can't wait for that part. When we get to that. So you guys, um, for the net, if you guys feel free to um, work along with us and you could be painting furniture, you could be painting canvas. Um, so feel free. These colors uh, that I'm using right now that I'm blending are Hey Sailor and Sandy Blonde. Beautiful, beautiful blend. Love it. It's like a, um, what would that be like? An aqua? Aqua? Okay, I'm going to do one thing. I have to get some tape. This is just a little thing because I'm going to also have an above water blend, but I need to have a straight line. I need to get some of that. I need a new color. All right. I'm just going to, I'm going to finish with this one and I need to get some, a new color. I'm falling behind. Chris said, good. Thanks. Looks like it's coming along beautifully. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Luanne, Luanne said, since I hopped on late, let me, let me what you're doing. Tell me what you're doing. I know ocean themed. Sounds like you're adding molds, mermaids, shells. That's Luann. Luann, yeah. Um, I've never done any. I did a little beach scene on a, a video, a YouTube. I'm trying to get it. Ugh, tried to. <laughs> and, but I never did one with all the sea creatures. So um, um, Denise is an expert at doing these <laughs> beach scenes. I'm not an I, expert. <laughs> Yeah, Her work is beautiful. And um, so she's uh, teaching me how to do, uh, a, I call it a coastal vibe. Yes, I call it casual coasty, casual coastal, um, beach coastal, beachy, you know, beachy, goodness. Thing. Goodness. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those things that, um, Luann said, you are the best at it. Oh, I tell her, thank you so much. Me? me? She thank said, so oh, much. Me. yeah. All right, I'm going to get another color. So, guys, I have another uh, news. I'm changing my name. I know you were saying that. Yeah, I think I decided because I worked on my logo today and I told GoDaddy that they're putting it in. So I think I made the decision, guys. Being set in stone, um, I'm now welcome to Shabalot. I'm not just Shabalot. I can still be called, my nickname can still be Shabalot. And you can still right, call me Shabs. Right. Don't call me Shabs. I love that. Um, okay. Okay. But uh, my business name is. Um, I'm stuck. I'm frozen. Is welcome to shab a lot. I like it. Yeah, uh, you'll be noticed. I got to change it on all my social media. So I'll do that in the morning. I do my social media in the morning. Okay, so when you get to that, or you may not, you may have yours all under C's. But the reason I put the tape there is because this is going to be like above water. So this is going to be kind of like the horizon line above water will be like a different color, like greens and stuff. Um, um, I think we're frozen, you guys, which is not good because I thought we were going to, uh, my internet was so much better up here than the garage. So I don't know why that is happening. It's not making me happy. Oh, all 57 looks good. Are we on or? Uh, we're a little frozen. I'm going to just wait a minute and hopefully, oh, why does that happen? Let me see. 
I don't know what to do. Come on. You can hear me, right? I hear you. So if you guys, uh, am I froze? Are we frozen? Can you type in if we're frozen or not? I'm frozen on my end. And I don't know why. And I'm not happy about that. No boy. So nice that these people came on. I'm so happy to have them here. And then I freeze. I'm still frozen. The time is really? even the time is even frozen. Oh, I don't really? know. I don't know what it's to do. It's saying everyone. Well, I don't know. Well, just keep going and let it. Okay. Hopefully, your internet will come back. Okay. All right. We'll keep going. Yeah, just keep going. Okay. Yeah. The old fifty-seven looks really nice. Yeah, yeah. just to touch it. I'm going to use more above it, so. Check my laptop. Are you doing your sides tonight? Yeah, probably. Oh yeah, I'll definitely do them tonight. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to find it live. Okay. I'm not, well, I'm not frozen on Facebook. Are you doing oh, your side? We're not, oh, we're not frozen. Are we okay? Okay. So the reason I did the this this tape here was so that I have a nice straight horizon line, a definition between the, the bottom of the ocean and above the ocean. Okay. 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 Yeah, that was smart. Yeah, because the horizon now, is literally a straight line. Yeah. Right. Now on yours, if you're gonna continue, I would suggest you do all of yours here under the ocean, but when you flip your chest in there, I would have like above the ocean in there. So when you open, it's like a big surprise. And then you're like, oh, okay. my stuff continues, you know? Well, I want the octopus up there. What? Should we paint? I thought about painting the octopus up there. Up oh, in okay. The well, that's, okay, but I'm going to have him underwater. I'm going to have his legs come up above the water. Okay. So why don't you make that you're out above the water, like it's continuing up and then okay like wherever you want your horizon line at the before it opens up and then when you open up have the horizon line and then continue like we're gonna do up here um yeah some water I, you're gonna see yeah i'm gonna yeah, take I'm, right now like okay 57 okay something bright like a caribbean water above like it's gonna be dark here like under the water like it's down there but we have this highlight mm. right here but oh can you guys see me and this is above the line, and I will fill this in later. But I'm just going to say this is above my water line. So this okay. is going to be water, and then it's going to go into sky. Oh, cool. Like, okay. some sand, like, like a sand. I'm going to have, like, some sand. It's hard to explain it until you see it. But <laughs> um, So Nancy Evans. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Hi, no, Nancy. you are frozen. Oh. I can't see your piece now, Janice. Can you move the camera back? Can you see it now, Lisa? Oh, gosh, I'm so bad at this. Yeah. I'm going to put some Hey Sailor. Okay. 
So, um, yeah, StreamYard was frozen on my phone, um, but apparently it wasn't frozen for them. So that's good. And I've used the same brush the whole time. Because we're blending and you want to encourage all the blends. Friday night, everybody. Hi, everybody. Let me get my camera up a little higher, too, because I'm working up higher now. There we go. Are you guys close enough? Do I need to bring my camera closer? A little bit. I was trying to have you guys see the piece as I was going, but. So oh, Nancy Evans, how nice. She said, both of your pieces look incredible. Thank you. And Lisa can see it now. Okay. Um, I keep moving it. I think it's, I'm trying to get, oh, we got some hearts and some thumbs up. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, don't forget to, if you're on um, uh, YouTube, to subscribe. And Denise has just started her YouTube channel, right? Yes, I need some subscribers. <laughs> what is it like your first, how many days have you had it? Your I channel. Just started this this week, I, I posted Luann and mine. We did a uh, resin art, and uh, I put art videos yeah, on there. But I just wasn't. I didn't know how to use it, and so I um I kind of refrained from going on it <laughs> because of that. It can be um, the edited videos can be very very um, time consuming and um so anyway let's subscribe to is your channel called up chic up chic glitz and glam yes okay and uh maybe when we get off you can put your link to your channel um in the comments and um so that we can find it easy and, and subscribe i am shabalot well i guess my name the name i don't know but right now it's shabalot so if you're watching on YouTube, I'd appreciate thumbs up, comments, likes, all that stuff. Who, who else out there has uh, social media, YouTube and... I'm really enjoying watching these colors blend together. Yeah. That's the, such the fun part. I really like just enjoying the pro the process, you know. Um, I'm slow. <laughs> I get that lid off. I'm very slow. <laughs> so so um to, so after tonight when we have our second visit. What what do you envision a second visit we'll we'll be doing? Well, I'd like to get the boat and the octopus on, draw those, maybe draw okay. a mermaid on the side, and then start putting on some um some no, no. some, some um mermaids and stuff. Okay. All right. So the whole back backdrop will be ready. For our net, I, I'm saying that to myself because I'm not going to be I'm not going to be anywhere near ready tonight. Um, but I will work on it and I'll have my whole backdrop ready. I will watch this video again so I can see what you did. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm just blending. <laughs> I was just blending. Right now I did the dark and I did some of the bright green like Caribbean. I started to do some sand and I forgot I usually do like before the sand at the edge some mint chip. So I'm yeah. just going to add Ooh, some mint chip here to make it, you know, a little bit more. No, I'm not. I think that um, the whole front is 
Well, what's the first color you have for the sky? I'm not to the sky yet. This is still like oh. the like the ocean going into the land. I'm gonna put some white here, like when you get into the white sand. I'm gonna go get my um oh, okay. all right, I got you. Yeah, I have okay. crinoline. Yep. And then I have vintage linen. I'm gonna use vintage linen and um sea glass for the sky up here so but i'm thinking of doing like right here the land this might be i don't know if that's gonna be part of this going into like maybe a, a sun yeah or like some yellow like if there was a sun spot what, what what color do you think i should paint this well, that's what I was thinking. I think you should do okay. the blue, like that's your horizon. Then when you open it up, you're going to continue with the horizon and go up and be the, uh, above the water. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I understand now. Okay. okay. I got it. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. I get it. I'm sorry. That's okay. It looks kind of like when I open up the top, it gives me the height that you have. Yes, yes, yes. Right. But it's so like that, it's that little surprise, that added surprise that people love. All right. Okay, so I'm opening up the top of this thing. Oh, boy. Randy's going to have to tighten up the, the <laughs> lashes so that it doesn't snap down on anybody's hand. So I'm going to move my camera back a little bit, and I'll try to – so I've got the, the dark – blue that is Denise's horizon and then on top of the horizon it's like a uh, mint chip or sea glass so which one is your first one okay at the horizon I had like the bohemian blue and the purples the deep that we did down below some of the yeah. cobalt I just kind of mixed all them to get it like a darker navy blue you could use okay. hey sailor if you have that then in okay. here I used the um Old's 57, and I actually think some of the sea glass. Do you get okay, cool. I'm gonna, we're going to go over that, and we're going to make, you know, like um, peaks in the water, like coming in. Wow. Nice. We'll do that. Well, that's why we're just laying out right now the kind of like the background lines if you would do if you were doing a canvas, you know? Yeah. Just kind of laying out, and then we know where we want to put our elements. I'm so excited that you are teaching us this. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, this, is, this is great. Just make the Our, most of what you have and let right, the magic let begin. Let me get my sea glass <laughs> and do, I see first color on my cover here is going to be sea glass. Um, yeah, it's a sea glass. Okay. And that's the good thing about having it on video because you can look back anytime you want, you know? Yeah. And each piece turns out different because you're blending slightly differently each time. Um, yeah. I wonder if I should, um, this whole thing is uh, all like wood inside. So I could paint inside or I could like cheat and cover it with fabric. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to leave it not with nothing. So I don't know. I might have to. But if they throw things in, well, I'll just paint it one color, I think, I guess. How's everybody doing out there? I love how you both are bringing your colors, are blending your colors as you move up. Tag me on second night. We're heading out for the night. Loving it, ladies. Have a great evening. If you're still oh, here. You Happy belated birthday. Head it out. It's Friday night. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I don't know if Friday night days are over. <laughs> over but you know I think it's because I'm not working in the office anymore 
Friday nights were, were such a big deal when I was working in the office because it was five days of sitting in a cubicle. So Friday nights were like, get me out. I need to get out. Um, but now I'm, I'm home. I work from home. So it's um, it's not a, I'm not as desperate to, to get out. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. But I remember feeling really exhausted on Friday nights after putting in yes. and being like, oh, my God, I'm either going to go to sleep or I'm going out because then then you go out and you kind of liven up and you feel a little better. Um, yeah, you'll unwind a little bit. Um, I'm going to go get, I just got to go right over there and grab some. I'll have to put some deeper yellow, but I'm going to grab some cake batter or something I have over here. Mm -hmm. Um, she, her piece is, I, I, I mean, she's got pink in there, um, yellow. Um, yeah, just a slight so. yellow. I can add some darker yellow later. Just for the, for my piece, I'm taking advantage of this and making that like a little bit of the sun, sun's rays. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. If you have a piece, let it speak to you. Use whatever yeah. you, you can, you know. That's so cool. And that's why when I got this piece, I loved it, but I was like, what am I going to do with it? And I probably thought in my head, I don't know, several times I had different ideas. And then I was like, oh, I got to go back to the beachy. <laughs> Definitely. Someone is going to, if you don't keep that, someone is going to really love that. Now, do you have a store or a booth uh, where you so sell I don't your have a store? I just right now I'm painting in my garage. Yeah. When it gets when it gets um when it gets cold out, I'll be taking some pieces inside or working on some canvas or something like that. But uh -huh. Ooh, I can't wait to see of this weather right now. That kind of looks yeah. green to mix, but I'll mix that with some fire starter and some other yellow in the second color. Do you sell any of your canvas work? I'm going to be starting to do some. Um, yeah, I would think your canvas work would, would be beautiful. You can probably sell it on, on Etsy or something. Or Yeah, I do uh, have an Etsy store. Oh, you do? Okay, cool. I'll play with this a little bit more after this dries. I can let some of this yellow sit on here. My brush had some blue on it, so it was changing the color a little bit on me. And I do have a stencil <laughs> here. <laughs> to try to get this top part. And I might have to lift you guys up some to see it too. So right now it's a blendy mess, but it's going to get even better as we get the second coats on and um, yeah. the elements that we want to place on. That always starts taking shape. Yeah, I am loving this blend in here, and that's cool. Okay, so I'm doing... I'm really happy with the way this DIY Yeah, paint I use is. a lot of different paints mm -hmm. um, just to get, you know, different depth and stuff. Um, yeah. I think you there's just the color is right on the money. Thank you. Okay, so you love the beach, huh? There we go. Can you guys see? Oh, hang on. Okay. So for the sky, again, I'm using the um, vintage linen DIY. And then I'm just pulling, I'll be pulling on it some of the, um, the 
sea glass. Too many colors to remember. Sea glass. Mm -hmm. So just mixing that with the, stretching that out. Still got some of that yellow on there, but that's okay. There could be sun everywhere. There's gonna be so many colors on this when we're done. <laughs> we only have a couple more minutes left. So anybody out there have any questions for Denise before we go? And tell them we will let them know when we're going to come on next. We have to discuss and see what works for us. Okay. Um, and I will be working on this alone in my new office. I'm so excited. And um, I will definitely be watching the replay so that I can um, uh, focus a little bit more and, and see your colors. If any of you guys... Um, want to catch the replay and maybe you try it yourself on a piece of furniture or a canvas that would be awesome um post you can post your work on um any website like on my page on denise's page uh chris jan do you have vintage linen yes i do whoop, whoop. <laughs> um, <laughs> i do chris oliver newman is uh in rhode island as well and she is a local artist canvas and encaustics and oh, what's her name and jewelry and um not furniture though chris we're gonna get you in furniture diane brielle can't wait to see the oh, next okay. episode that was really nice of you thank you so much thanks for joining right. yeah so it's eight o'clock so okay. um unless you guys have any more questions so keep your eye out um, I create events. I will create the event on Facebook and on um, YouTube. Now, Luann said to tag her. I've not figured out how to tag people in events. So okay. I'm going to have to figure that out because I think if I, my Facebook reach is not very far. It doesn't reach many people. So well, if that's send me the link and I'll put it on my spots and um Okay. All right. We'll, we'll discuss we, we you and I have to discuss when we're gonna get together. Okay. So Chris says add it to my list, please. Oh, to paint on furniture? <laughs> <laughs> oh the vintage linen. All right. Um so yeah, so I'm gonna figure out a way to tag you guys and um, get a further reach out there because I think what Diane, um, Diane why do I want to keep calling you Diane? Because Diane really is here. Um, because this is valuable information. This is really, really valuable. Look I haven't seen the legs yet, too. Yeah, we'll post updated pictures, too, so Look they can your see. Piece. That is, I can't believe you just did that. That is so beautiful. And I'm going to so um, study that and uh work on my piece yes please just the okay. colors as i went through them and yeah. i just went up from the colors and then i started here i told you the colors so we're just going to keep playing with them too so um okay. i'm not done i'm going to finish the sky here then should we do our sides on our own so the next time we can work on elements yeah let's have the whole thing base coated with one okay. coat okay. and then Will we be doing a second coat, or does that just kind of evolve with the next? Well, yeah, it kind of evolves. Um, we'll be putting stuff on, and as we put stuff on, then we'll probably do some sponge painting and mm -hmm. filling stuff in with that, um, you know? So I, should, so I should have some molds ready. I should make some molds so that we're not going to make them on camera. We'll, we'll make some molds, have them already, um, and then apply them. Yeah, yeah, on we should have them ready. Back. Well, we can apply some and uh and and yeah so people can see it's not hard to do and um it's fun and then we'll just pick our spots that we want them and then also we're going to be doing some hand painting of sea creatures i really want to hand paint i think that'll be so much fun and uh with it denise, is it is so me copying denise i might be able to do it um, so you guys, thank you so much for watching. Denise, thank you so much for being here. Can't wait to talk to you soon. Make our plans for our next date. Okay. All righty. Thanks um, for joining guys. Ladies right, and gentlemen. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Okay. You got 